Harry and Meghan are failed to name any UK mental health services in Afghanistan statement. Prince Harry, 36, and Meghan Markle, 40, spoke out on Afghanistan yesterday, the couple said they were speechless and felt the many layers of pain. They went on to list a series of mental health resources on their Archul site, royal fans have questioned why all of the organizations listed are American. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been slammed by royal fans for failing to mention any British mental health resources in their Archul statement on Afghanistan. The Duke, 36, and Duchess of Sussex, 40, who are currently living in their $14 million mansion in California having stepped back from royal duty last year, released a post yesterday to say the Taliban's advance in Afghanistan has left them speechless and heartbroken and also addressed the COVID-19 crisis and the humanitarian disaster in Haiti. The lengthy statement shared via the couple's Slick Archul Foundation website, listed a series of mental health resources for followers to navigate whatever comes up for them during this critical time. However royal fans have questioned why Prince Harry and Meghan only listed American charities, and ignored royal projects they launched including Heads Together and Shout. One commented, imagine talking about international community then only listing American organizations. The couple shared the list of charities yesterday as resources for your own mental health which we hope you'll use as you navigate whatever comes up for you during this critical time. They finished their statement by saying, take care of yourselves, and let's keep taking care of each other. Thank you, the Archuil team. Organizations listed in the post include National Alliance on Mental Illness, the largest mental health organization in the U.S. and the Loveland Foundation, which is based in the U.S. and supports a number of communities focusing on black women and girls. The final charity mentioned by the Duke and Duchess was Project Healthy Minds, which is also based in the U.S. Royal blogger Gertz Royal tweeted, Interesting that they did not include any U.K. or international mental health services. The three organizations are all U.S.-based and have a lot of resources that are only available to U.S. residences. They continued, I would have thought they would include Heads Together launched by William, Kate and Harry in 2016. Or give us a shout which the Cambridges and Sussexes launched together in May 2019. But I guess the Sussexes want to separate themselves from Royal Foundation projects. Gertz went on to comment, that's the point, people need help. And the Sussexes' followers come from all over the world. But the mental health resources they listed are all US-based and only provide services in the USA. It's not accessible or helpful for people in other countries. Other fans were equally stunned, with one commenting, because an American wrote it I am sure. We tend to think the world revolves around us. The Royal Foundation, which has the Duke and Duchess of Sussex alongside the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge as its patrons, has set up several mental health initiatives. It helped launch Heads Together, a campaign to tackle stigma and change the conversation around mental health, and Contact, which aims to help members of the armed forces access mental health and support. The Duke and Duchess also attended the launch of mental health charity Shout last year, backed by the Royal Foundation among others which offers a 24-7 text service to those struggling with mental health issues. Prince Harry and Meghan revealed their plan to split from the Royal Foundation and establish their own foundation in June 2019, six months before they decided to step back from the royal family. Yesterday, the couple were slammed by a royal expert who called their statement another attempt to form an alternate woke royal family and by social media users who branded the statement vague publicity-seeking word salad and said it was irrelevant as it doesn't mention how they personally will be helping in the crisis.